Hey, how you doing? My name is Paul Ferrace and I'm a landscape photographer based out of St. Augustine, Florida. Today we're going to go over adding a radial glow to one of my landscape images. And if you want to see more uh, post-processing and editing tips, please consider subscribing. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, so I have a shot here I took with a shallow depth of field. It already has a dreamy look, so I'm gonna try to add a radial glow here and show you how to, you can use tones and colors to kind of add a, a nice glow to this image. Um, so I've done a few things. I might warm it up a little bit more here just to bring some of those yellows in. And uh, I got the exposure a little bit down. The highlights are down, um, whites are down. I just had to tame some of these over here and here and here. Um, but yeah, so we got a good starting point here. Just uh, tweaked a little bit of the basic stuff and let's jump over into Photoshop and see what we can do with it over there. All right, so I'm gonna go down to the photo, right click, edit in, Adobe Photoshop. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. I'm just gonna do a few tweaks to uh, get it to a better place. I'm gonna add a curves layer here and I'm just gonna grab this midpoint and bring it down just to get a little bit of darker a little bit of darkness to the image. All right, there we go, that should look good. Um, and usually I would probably spend a little more time doing some dodging and burning, but for time's sake in the video, I'll just go ahead and uh, tweak this. And this is a, like kind of my version of the Orton effect. I will merge all layers right there with, with Command, Option, Shift, E, and it creates a layer uh, out of all the layers merged. Then I'll go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and I'll link to this video uh, in the corner if you want to go over this effect that I do. So I will go down to Soft Light, and there we go, nice and dreamy, but way too heavy. So somewhere right there, about 50% is good. So now let's add the uh, radial glow type effect. So you go down here to add a new adjustment layer, pick Gradient. You're gonna change the style to Radial there we are. We're gonna go into our gradient, click on this to change the color right here. And we'll go somewhere in the same style as the photo. You can always tame it down too. I'm sorry, my computer's starting to act up in the screen recording. Might go a little more yellow. That's not bad, but I think I need to match it a little more. Yeah, that, that should do. So I'm gonna hit okay. Okay here on the gradient editor. And then I'll go down to the scale and increase this a bit. Make it a little larger. Hit okay. All right, so then we're gonna go to blend mode. We'll go to soft light. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to move my gradient. So let's go back in here to the editor. There we go. So we can move this gradient up and out of the way, just like it's the sun where the sun actually was. That looks pretty decent. We can always go in there and change the color or, or position if we need to. Okay, so we got that in. I'm just gonna take that opacity down and to taste. And that should do it. There's 34%. Yeah, and that's pretty good. It's nice and subtle. All right, so I'll show you the before and after uh, of these, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a great way to add a glow from a, a localized position uh, within the photo. This works great if you actually have the sun in the frame. Do a nice soft light glow in that color, and it kind of glues everything together and makes those transitions really smooth. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you uh, have any questions or comments, please drop them down in the comments section. And uh, if you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. See you next time.